Hi viewers, so once again your teacher Ian Haganenda, a grade 6 teacher at Fountain School in Kasama, Northern Province of Zambia. Now, in today's lesson in English, we'll look at language use. Language use. Now, it is important as well also to revise something we looked at last time when we met in English. We looked at adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner. We said adverbs of manner, these tell us how an action is done. And we said this action or the action we are talking about is a verb. We said these adverbs of manner, they answer the question which is how. We say they answer the question how. How something was done. This is where we looked at a good number of words that are called adverbs of manner. We say we have fast, we have had, we have well. Then we also looked at another set of adverbs of manner where we say maybe we say quietly. Quietly. So we say under adverbs of manner, most adverbs of manner they end with L Y. But not all adverbs of manner end with L Y. Others they are written like this, and we say the examples of adverbs of manner that do not end with L Y. We say we have fast, hard, and well. So this is what we looked at last time in English. Now today, um, I'm inviting you to an interesting lesson where we're going to look at prepositions. We'll look at prepositions. Now, for us to understand the lesson that we're going to look at today, we need to define what prepositions are. What are these words? Prepositions are words that are used after verbs. Who we'll pause there? We are saying these are words that that are used that are used after after verbs. We can say adjectives. Then the third one, these words are also used after nouns. Nouns. So as to so as to show a relationship. So as to show a relationship relationship between between a subject between a subject and an object an object of the sentence. Right. So we are saying prepositions are words that are used after verbs, adjectives, also nouns. So as to show a relationship between a subject and an object of the sentence. So these prepositions, we use them in sentences. And obviously today when we look at these words, you even be amazed to say, ah, this is how these words, you know, this is the preposition of this, this word. So now we are saying, for us to understand what we are talking about in details, we are saying, maybe somebody may be confused. Why are we saying the subject? 
the subject and also the object of the sentence. The subject in this manner we can say it is just a noun that is being talked about in a sentence. The subject in a sentence we can say this is the noun that is being talked about in that sentence and we all know to say a noun is a naming word. Then when we say the object, the object is the recipient the recipient of an action and when we use the word recipient we mean the receiver somebody who is receiving that action so now let's talk about or let's look at different words and their prepositions different words and their prepositions so the first one on this card the first one on this card is die the first one on this card is Die. So we we'll say, come on. The following words will say common words with their preposition. So the first one we've said die. Die. What is the preposition of the word die? So the word die uses three prepositions. The first one is from, the second one is in, and the third one is of. You even hear people saying in sentences to say, she died from a certain disease, okay? She died in a road accident. So all those words they use when they say die from, okay? Then the other one in, and the third one is of. So these words from, in, and of are called prepositions. They are called prepositions. The second one is confidence. Confidence. So we can say confidence. Confidence. What is the preposition? The preposition is in. I have so much confidence in you. You hear people making those sentences. So what is the preposition of confidence? The preposition for confidence is in. Then the other word is concern. This word is concern. Concern. What is the preposition of the word concern? The preposition is with. The preposition for the word confidence we use with. Then the fourth one, so we are saying the preposition for the word concern is with. Then we go to the fourth one, which is consist. Consist. So the word we are reading now is consist. What is the preposition of this word? The preposition is of. Consist. The fourth one is consist. The preposition is of. Then the other word is interested. Interested. What is the preposition of the word interested? The preposition is e. The other word is ask. Ask. That is number six. Ask. What is the preposition of this word ask? The preposition is for. I'm asking for a cup of tea. I'm asking for a cup of tea. We use the word for, which is the preposition for this word ask. The other word we have here on this card is depend. Depend. 
depend. What is the preposition of the word depend? The word depend has two prepositions. The first one is on. Then the other one is upon. You hear people say, I'm depending on you. I'm depending upon this machine. Why? Because on and upon are the prepositions for the word depend. Then we also have another one which is saying afraid. Afraid. That is it. Afraid. What is the preposition of the word afraid? The preposition of the word afraid is of. I'm afraid of this. I'm afraid of you. Okay? They don't just make you know, you know, maybe come up with those words. They use the preposition so that the word or the sentence is correctly constructed. Then the other word, the ninth word is absent. The ninth word is absent. Okay. Sometimes we even hear teachers saying, who is absent? You can say, she was absent from school. So the word absent, the preposition we use is from. From. I still have some more words. We have the other word, the tenth one as benefit. Benefit. What is the preposition of this word? The preposition of the word benefit is from. Also, benefit uses the word from, okay? We benefit from, maybe you give an example of whatever word you want to use, but pay attention to the preposition. The moment you use the word benefit, you know to say, I will use the preposition which is from. The other word is listen, listen. What is the preposition of this word listen? It is to. Just like we say, I'm listening to the news. I'm listening to the news. Because they use the preposition of to when used the word listen. So, we we'll also continue looking at them. So, we have another word which is anxious. Anxious. What is the preposition of the word anxious? It is about. Anxious about. We have another one which is amazed. Amazed. If you are using the word amazed, which, which preposition can you use? You say, I'm amazed at this. You use the word at, which is the preposition. The other word is ashamed. The word ashamed goes with the preposition of the word which is of. I'm ashamed of you. I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed of myself. Why they use the preposition of? We have another one which is believe. Believe. If you use the word believe, the preposition that you can use is in. I have believed in Jesus. I have believed in Jesus. Then the last word is agree. We have the word agree. What is the preposition of the word agree? We have agree to. Agree to. So the word to is the preposition for the word agree. So we'll go through and look at what we are looking at today. So we are looking at prepositions. We first define what prepositions are. So we say prepositions are words that are used after verbs, adjectives, nouns so as to show a relationship between the subject and an object of the sentence so next time as we meet for this same lesson we'll look at now identifying the subject and also something else to do with prepositions then we also looked at now common words with their prepositions i want you please i want you to know these words because we have quite a number of prepositions and words with their prepositions. So what you need to know here is all the words, for example, we've looked at quite a few of them. Know them and use them wisely. 
So the first one is die. We say the prepositions that can be used when we use the word die are one from in and of. The preposition of the word in or the preposition of the word confidence is in. Consent with. Consist of. Interested in. Ask for. Depend on or upon. Afraid of. Absent from. Benefit from. Listen to. We also looked at agree to. We also looked at believe in. We also looked at ashamed of. And we also looked at amazed at. And the last one, which is not here, we said anxious about. So now, get your book and write the exercise. It says, use the following prepositions to fill the blanks. You use these prepositions in this box to fill the blanks that are here in these sentences. The first sentence is, Dr. Julius Nyerere died dash cancer. Then the second one says, he is interested dash reading newspapers. Then three, she was absent dash duty yesterday. Then the fourth one, I don't believe dash life after death. Then the last one says, most women don't listen dash radio programs. So it has been an interesting lesson where we are looking at prepositions in English. So make sure you understand these prepositions and use them where you need to use them. And you have been with me, teacher Ian Havalinda, a grade 6 teacher at Fountain School. Until next time.